Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello, today I'm going to be talking about getting into flow and my understanding of what it means to be in flow. And everything in the world vibrates at a certain frequency, and you do too, and I do. And as humans, we can increase our, our, our frequency of vibration or decrease it. And um, I've already spoken about this, and I'll put a link to that in the notes below. But when we look at flow, to me, it's about how open or how closed we are. Um, it's also about the vibration, because the vibration to me is how connected we are to source. The more connected we are, the more um, the faster we vibrate, the, the higher level we vibrate at. So first of all, for me, it's about being in connection with source. And um, I call it source, you might call it God or Allah, and, and I'm not attached to what you call it. Please call it whatever you want, but I will be calling it source. You just substitute it for whatever word you want to. And the more open you are, the more you allow source to flow through you and the higher you vibrate. And this allowing of the flow is something that we are able to do. And the more that you play in this space, the more you can feel it. Um, I can feel when I'm closing myself off because I get tight around here. That's not to say that you will become tight here. You might get a tightness somewhere else in your body. Um, and it might depend on whatever it is that's causing you to close. But the things that cause you to close is when you're experiencing something in your world that there's resistance to or that you're angry about or sad about or anything that causes you to feel lower because what happens is that subconsciously we want to protect our idea of ourselves our identity but also the core of who we are which ironically to me doesn't really need protecting because it's eternal but anyway we're programmed to believe it needs protecting so when something we feel threatens our happiness, our way of being, our living, or threatens us in any way, our instinct is to close down and to close in and to protect. And you can actually experiment with this with a couple of um, wire coat hangers if you bend them into an L shape. Um, and I've done a very small, very icky video, but it'll explain it and I'll put a link to that in the notes below as well. Or yeah, so you can have a look at it should you wish to. Um, and that shows you how you can use these two homemade dowsing rods and play with it to see consciously about focusing on something negative, how the dowsing rods pull in um, because your energy is closing in and how when you focus on something positive, the dowsing rods open up because you are opening up and your energy is open. So being in flow is, is this allowing yourself to be open and allowing yourself to be open in all circumstances. Quite often when we meet people that um, we, we can become guarded. Um, some people you're much more open with because you feel happy and relaxed and safe with them, and other people we close ourselves off to. And this, this affects the, the interaction that we have with these people. It affects our connection, our ability to connect with these people. Um, and I'm sharing this because you might not be aware of it. But by sharing it with you, hopefully now when you go and you meet people, one, you'll notice if you close yourself off and pull away and disconnect. And you'll also notice if you open up and allow that connection to happen. And as you get better at this and you play with it more and more, you will consciously be able to open up when you're with people that you feel you would normally automatically close off from. And you can see what happens in that space. And initially, you might have a few bumps in the road because sometimes they're people that you don't necessarily want to be open with. And you feel that by opening with them, you might be vulnerable and that they might take advantage of you. And I did a video on authentic power and about stepping into your space of way of being. And, and that's about being who you are, irrespective of what's going on in the world. And this this ties in very much to that, and, and I'll put a link to that in the notes as well. <laughs> um, but this being able to be open, irrespective of what somebody's doing, but do it from a space of power. So it's not doing it and being like um, a vulnerable, well, not vulnerable, but weak and um, influence influenced person. It's about being open because you choose to be open. 
being open in all your glory and all your wonder and allowing that person to be whoever they are not reacting to whatever it is that they're throwing at you, whichever emotion that they're projecting onto you. It's understanding that that emotion is not your emotion. It's their emotion. That all you're doing is experiencing it. And true power, this authentic power, is about holding that space, holding that open space with love, with compassion, and allowing someone else to experience whatever they're experiencing. As soon as you feel judgment, as soon as you feel fear, as soon as you feel um, any negative thought towards the other person, you immediately pull in, you close off your energy. And, and this is not a judgment. This, this, I'm not saying that you should be open all the time. I'm really sharing with this so that you can start to play with it. Um, I actually had an incident with um, somebody actually yesterday and they'd had some upsetting news and it's somebody very close to me. So they sort of feel that they can be themselves when they're with me and they wanted to be angry and I could feel that they were angry and they wanted to project that anger onto me and I knew that that's what they were trying to do but and and in knowing that and understanding that um, I was able to stand with love and compassion and every time they tried to bring me into an argument and to make it about whatever had happened and to be able to release that anger and, and project it onto me um, I would just say, look, everything that I, I, I know that you're feeling angry and I know that whatever I say right now is going to make that anger worse. But know that I'm here, that I love you um, and, and I will always love you. Um, which allowed them to, to realise that I was not going to play their game. I was not going to, to close off and start that argumentative, you're right, I'm wrong, you know, hurt space which allows that person to know that, it, that it's acceptable for them to be whatever they're going to be, but I'm not going to dance that dance with them. I'm not going to allow them to influence who I choose to be in this world. Um, and being in flow, there's so much more fun to it as well. Um, there's something that I've shared before, but I'm going to share it again. It's an experiment I did um, quite a number of years ago now, where when I was driving around, I let anybody in that I could. So when I, I made it my intention to let people in. And the more people that I let in, the more I realised that other people let me in. And it allowed, because I was coming from this space of love and joy and happiness and being open and not getting cross with people, it allowed more flow to come into my life. It allowed things to move, to circulate. And I saw more beauty and more joy and more love than I was when I was in a different space. So allowing flow or being in the flow to me is about the opening. It's about continually being aware of yourself and how open or how closed you are. First of all, you need to sort of know when you're open or when you're closed. And so to become aware of that, and you can use the dowsing rods to play with that and to experiment and find out how it feels for you. The second step is to, once you're aware of when you're open or when you're closed, is to start Stepping into being open when you're triggered. Stepping into that space of deciding that you want to be an open person. Um, and the more that you step into that, the more you allow flow to come through you and out into your life. The more you allow inspiration. Um, and I've talked about inspiration. I'll put a link to that as well in the notes below. Allowing inspiration to flow through you and to take action on that and create in your life from a different space. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, lots and lots of love and if you've liked it I would really appreciate you liking, physically liking it, sharing it, commenting on it and subscribing. I have lots of resources as you can tell by the links I've put in the notes below um, but you can find access to all of those on my website. Um, I've got free courses, um, in-depth paid courses and you can access my coaching um, and connect with me should you want a chemistry call. So much love from me to you and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.